we'll start out lying down. How about that? An unusual official starting stuff. Hello and welcome to Gentle Yoga. This is Leo for Kristen Olson's Urban Yoga Center. Visit us on the web at urbanyoga.org or on Facebook at Kristen Urban Yoga Center to check our schedule and to make donations to support our online offerings. We'll start today in a reclined posture. You could put the soles of your feet together and have your knees out like this, or plant your feet like your knees lean towards each other, or just extend your legs like that. Whatever works for you. Sometimes there's some trial and error, seeing what works. Rest your hands on the ground or on your body as you like. Close your eyes if you want to. Notice your breath. As you're finding your comfortable stillness and your breath slows down and gets deeper, notice the movements of your breath. Feel your contact with the ground. The ground is whatever's under you, whether it's a mat or blanket. <laughs> whatever your flooring is. Maybe you have props. Sometimes when we have our knees splayed like this, we put blocks or something under our legs to make it a more passive posture. Take in the rest of your surroundings, all that space above the ground, what's going on around you, what is reaching your senses from the space you're in. And scan your body to take in whatever else is going on for you today. Especially noting any issues, any discomfort, any sore spots. Making notes of these things now so we can keep them in mind as we go. Taking care of ourselves by modifying or skipping whatever we need to. Let's take three deep clearing breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth with a sigh. If you have the soles of your feet together and your knees out like this, you can use your arms to lift your knees towards each other. And let's all meet here with the soles of the feet planted, heels close to your butt. Then cross your left ankle above your right knee. Reach your arms out to the sides with your palms up. Let your legs fall to the right and turn your head to the left. Just muting a Zoom participant. I could hear some, some background sound <laughs> coming through. If you need to unmute and ask me something or tell me something, please feel free.
can bring your head and your legs back to center. You can keep looking up and just let your legs fall to the left for a few breaths. Come back up to center. Cross your legs the opposite way. Let your legs go to the left again and turn your head to the right. Come on up to center. And then let your legs fall to the right for a bit. And come on up to center. Uncross your legs. Hug your knees to your chest and explore rocking or rolling, massaging your back against the ground. Let's take some simple full body stretches. Inhale, extend your arms and legs all the way out. And exhale, curl up again. And then let's start to sit up. You can either hold your legs and rock front to back or just tip onto one side and press your hands to the floor. Let your arms help you sit up. Now let the water out of reach. It's water. Sit in whatever way is comfortable for you. It doesn't have to be just how I sit. Let your arms hang loose at your sides. Raise your right shoulder towards your ear. Slide it back and let it down. And then your left shoulder up and back and down. Let your chin come down towards your chest. Nice and slowly start to roll your head in gentle circles. Really taking your time to explore, loosening up your neck. Necks can be stiff in the morning. If you find a tight spot or more than one tight spot, you can always pause the circles to rock back and forth at the tight spots.
I forgot to say at the beginning of our recording, thanks to our hosts, Tencha and Daniel, who are in uh, Chiquilo, Puebla, Mexico, staying at our friend's house. And it's really chilly here, I'm wearing wool socks and two long sleeve tops. <laughs> Very different from my usual tank top and bare feet. It's extremely rare that I have anything on my feet when I practice, but <laughs> it's so cold here. <laughs> Look forward to warming up and taking off a jacket. <laughs> Let's change direction. Sometimes we get funny sounds in our neck when we make the circles. I'm getting sound effects in this direction that I wasn't getting in the other direction. It's so interesting how these bodies operate. And when you finish the next circle, lift your chin and look forward. Reach your arms out to the sides like this and just rest your fingertips on the ground. Stay long in your spine. Inhale, raise your right arm up alongside your ear. As you exhale, reach to the left, lean into your left hand. Let your head go where it wants to go. Where does your neck feel most comfortable? Inhale, come upright. As you exhale, come into a twist with the right hand behind you and your left hand on your right leg. Inhale to lengthen up. Exhale to twist some more. Let yourself unwind, come through center. Inhale, lift your left arm. And exhale, reach to the right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come into your other twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Let your twist unwind. Rest your hands on your knees or your thighs. Inhale, bring your heart forward. Let your head go back. Exhale, draw your heart back and let your head tip forward and down. And just keep going at the pace of your breathing.
And let's shift to making some circles. So as you inhale and come forward, go towards one side, and go towards the other side as you exhale and go back. And see if you, you can stay anchored in both sides of your seat as you circle so we don't rock too much and risk dipping over. And let's circle in the other direction. And after the next circle, sit up tall. Lift the leg and support it with the arm on the same side. Let the leg and the foot be passive. With the opposite hand, grab your toes. Now, if you don't have socks on, you can interlace your fingers and toes. Or you can just wrap your hand over your toes like this. And move your foot in gentle, slow circles to loosen up the ankle. and change direction. If the space was set up differently here, I'd love to welcome the dog to make cameo during practice, but maybe she's coming through. <laughs> Just started barking outside. Sweet dog named Pipa also hosting us here. Release the toes. Use both arms to support the weight of your whole leg. Feel your femur hanging in the hip socket and move your leg in circles to open your hip up. And change direction. Let's put that leg down and lift the other one. Take hold of your toes and start to open the ankle. And change direction. Release your toes, support the weight of your whole leg with both arms, and rock the hip socket open. Change direction.
Then we'll come down. Inhale, reach out to the sides. Exhale, reach for your shoulder blades and hug. But if you want, you can take eagle arms if that's in your practice. Intertwining your arms and hands. Sorry for the unplanned sound effects. Inhale, open up again. And exhale, cross the opposite way. Have a hug or another eagle. So I'm in a different time zone than usual. That sound was the alarm that goes off telling me I have a class starting in 30 minutes, but this is that class <laughs> that we already started. Inhale, open up. Exhale, arms down. Forget to disable that alarm. Inhale, reach out and up and interlace your fingers. Turn your palms up and reach your palms up and look up towards your hands. Inhale to come upright. Exhale, let your arms down. Bring your hands in front of you and walk them forward for a simple forward fold, just as far as it feels okay. And let your neck disengage, breathe into your back. Inhale and walk your hands back and sit up. And take your time to make your way up onto your hands and knees. Reach back and press the ball of your left foot against the floor. On an inhale, reach your right arm out to the side, parallel to the ground, palm facing down. On the next inhale, pick your left foot up, reach straight back. Now the leg is parallel to the ground. Bend your knee, reach back, take hold of your foot or ankle or pant leg. Lift your chin, lift your knee. Release and lower down. Reach back and press against the ball of your right foot. On an inhale, reach your left arm to the side. On an inhale, raise your right foot and reach back. Bend your knee, reach your hand back. Take that bind.
and release and lower down. Step your left foot up by your hands and step your right foot up to meet it and hang out in your forward fold, swaying back and forth, bending and lengthening your legs. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Yes, and I thought I would have to do this. I'm going to adjust my laptop here. So my head's not out of frame. A little less space than I usually set up in. <laughs> That'll do. Okay. Step your left foot forward and turn your right foot at about a 45 degree angle. We'll set up for warrior one. So if you're on a mat, which I'm not, you can have your feet by the edges of the mat. That's a good width for your stance, a little wider than your shoulders. Then the front knee can be bent. You know, do the like side. View works better, maybe. Make sure that knees aimed where those toes are aimed. Feel for grounding in the ball of your front foot. And then the opposite way is in here. <laughs> Follow your front foot, outer edge of your back foot. Don't mind my adjustment. <laughs> Reach your arms up, let your shoulders down, and turn your pinkies towards each other so your palms face back. Then bring your elbows to your rib cage. Lower your forearms parallel to the ground, keeping your elbows in. Inhale, slide your hands apart. And exhale, slide them in the front again. And repeat that for a few more breaths. Then bring your hands to your hips. Pivot your right foot open so it's perpendicular to your left foot. And slide in a line behind your left foot for warrior two. And then turn so your shoulders are above your hips. Reach your arms to the sides. And turn your head to the left, flip out past your left fingertips. Warrior two. Inhale, turn your palms to the sky. And then exhale, rotate your arms forward. And if it helps you get more rotation in your arms, more movement in your shoulders, bend your elbows. Turn your right palm, no, sorry, turn your left palm up, keeping your lower body where it is. Inhale, tip back and reach up, reverse warrior. Exhale, tip forward, reach forward, side angle pose, left arm on the left thigh, right arm arching overhead. And if you want, you can circle that top arm. And if you want for some more core engagement, you can play with extending the bottom arm over here, over here. If the bottom arm is extended, 
bring it back in. Inhale, reverse warrior, tip back, reach up. Exhale to side angle, tip forward, reach forward. And follow your own breath for a few more repetitions. Then let's inhale up to warrior two. And we'll do another dance to gentle warrior. Inhaling, raise your arms, turn your head to the right, extend the left leg, and exhale, glide back down to warrior two. A few more times at your own pace. And from warrior two, extend your left leg most of the way, keep a little bend in the knee, draw the right hip back, slide the left hand forward, and tip to triangle. Stack your hands, take deep breaths. Bring your right hand to your hip. Inhale, reach your left hand forward and stand. Bring your left hand to your hip. Pivot onto the ball of your right foot and step forward. And I'm finally warm enough to take off my jacket. Have a drink before we repeat all that on the other side. So now with your right foot forward and left foot back, set up warrior one. Starting with the feet and the legs, then the arms up, shoulders down a bit, pinkies in towards each other. Elbows to ribs. Forearms parallel to the floor. Inhale, hands out. Exhale, hands in front. Bring your hands to your hips. Pivot the left foot open. Slide it in line behind the right foot, foot, right foot. <laughs> Square your shoulders above your hips. Extend your arms and look to the right. And let's rotate the arms. Inhale, turn back. Exhale, turn forward. Turn the right palm up, inhale, reverse, tip back, reach up. Exhale, tip forward, reach forward for side angle pose. Circle the left arm if you want. and maybe extend the right arm.
bring that right arm back in. Inhale, tip back, reach up. Exhale, tip forward, reach forward. From side angle, inhale up to warrior two. Dance to gentle warrior, inhale, glide up. And exhale, glide down. And from warrior two, straighten the right leg most of the way. Draw the left hip back and the right hand forward and tip to triangle. Bring your left hand to your hip. Inhale, reach your right hand forward to stand. Bring your right hand to your hip. Pivot onto the ball of your left foot. Step forward. And let's have a seat. Extend your legs forward and flex your feet back. And then it's time for me to tilt my laptop again. Maybe not that much. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold down. If your knees want to bend, they can bend as much as needed. Inhale, think of coming forward. Exhale, think of lowering down. Inhale, walk your hands up your legs and sit up. Using your arms, nudge your legs apart to whatever degree is okay for you. And walk your hands down your legs or you can rest your hands at center and walk them forward that way. To whatever degree feels all right.
Inhaling, walk your hands back and sit up. Using your arms to help your legs, nudge them towards each other, bend them, bring the soles of your feet together with a big space between your pelvis and your heels. And reach over and in front of your ankles or under your ankles if you like, and walk your hands forward. Let your neck release, breathe into your back. Inhale, walk your hands back and sit up. Keep your feet together and bring them in closer to your pelvis. Interlace your fingers, hold your toes between your hands. Wriggle to shift the bones in your seat closer to the ground and tilt your pelvis forward. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Spine nice and long. And when that long spine isn't tipping forward anymore, let the spine round and let your head hang and breathe into your hips. Inhale, slowly sit up. Use your arms to lift your knees towards each other. Rest your feet on the floor. Plant your hands behind you and lean into them. Wiggle your feet wider apart than your shoulders, maybe the width of your mat. Let your knees go to the right, turn your head to the left. Come through center and go the other way, a couple more times to each side.
And let's set up for bridge. Bring your feet hip width apart. Come down onto your back with your heels close to your butt. Shifting myself to stay close to the microphone. If you have blocks, you could place a block between your knees on the middle setting. Press into your feet, inhale, lift your hips. If you want a deeper heart opener, clasp your hands under you, reach your knuckles towards your heels and draw your shoulder blades towards each other. If you're clasping your hands, let them go. Exhale, let your hips down. Explore floating up and down at your own pace. And next time you lower down, let's make that the last one. Hug your knees to your chest, rock and roll, massage your back against the floor. And nice, simple twist, reach your arms to the sides, palms up, letting your shoulders stay grounded as you twist. The closer your knees are to your torso, the deeper the twist feels. So you decide how close you want them. Let your knees go to the right and turn your head to the left. Slowly come up through center and continue the movement to twist the other way.
Come up to center. Reach your feet up. Reach your hands up to grab your legs or your feet. Play with bending and straightening your limbs. Whenever you feel complete, make your way to Shavasana. Focusing on your breath or on something else you decide, or just letting go of any need to focus. Give yourself some deeper breaths. And start exploring movement. Take your time working up to bigger movements. Moving mindfully and gently. When you're ready, sit yourself up.
And bring your hands to your heart. Thank you for sharing your practice today. The light within me sees and bows to that same light within each of you. Namaste. Namaste.